Hey, what's up guys? This is Joe. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take the export. I'm going to use DraftKings export as an example, but it works for, fine for FanDuel too. And get a listing on another sheet of all the teams that are playing and just listing the team one time and like in order. So uh, you can quickly get a list of all the, the teams that are playing. So um, before we get into that, I'm, I just want to talk, mention quickly my spreadsheet school for uh, DFS that I have um, where you will learn items like this. I've got about six hours of videos of uh, using Excel to improve your research time for uh, daily fantasy and help make better lineups. So you can check that out at SpreadsheetSchoolDFS.com. And you can also check out OptimizedLineups.com, which uh, is my spreadsheet lineup optimizers. So uh, I'll have links to them below the video, and uh, I'll tr try to put them right on the video too, uh, if you want to check them out. And now let's get right into how, how to do this. So we're starting off with the export here. I got the, the salary export right from DraftKings. We've got the list of teams here. What we want to do is just get a unique listing of all these teams, and we can do it with a formula. So I'm going to go to the next tab here, and here's going to be the teams. What we're going to do, we're going to start off by just putting a reference to the first one, because obviously the first one is, is not going to be any duplicates. But we don't want any more duplicates to show up in there. So we're going to start off by putting a one here, because we want a number next to each of the times there's a unique team that shows up. So that's the first step. It's pretty easy. So now what we want to do, we want to count how many times the, the teams show up. Because if they show up more than once, we don't want to include them. So we're going to do the formula count if. <clears throat> and what's, what's the range? So we're going to go over to here. And we're going to start with this range. And we do a comma. And then what's the other part? What's the criteria? The criteria is this cell right here. So we're checking out how many times does pH show up in here and here. And we put the end parentheses. So right now it, show, it shows up zero times. If it showed up once, then we know it's a duplicate. So what we want to do is we want to do a little formula, an if statement. So we'll say if parentheses. So if this formula equals zero, then we want, that means it doesn't show up anywhere. Then we want this cell. And if it doesn't equal zero, that means this Philly is in, in up here somewhere else. Then we want quote, quote, because we don't want to include it anywhere. So see, Philly is not included, or it is it's showing up here because it's not in either of these cells. But before we copy this down, we need to anchor the cell because we're going to, instead of looking at H1 to H2, if we copied it down, it would say H2 to H3. We want this H1, we want it always to be number one. So we put a dollar sign, but this two wants, we want it to keep changing. I'll show you what I mean. See now, if I copy this down a bit, see now here, we're looking in between cells H1 and H3. Here we're looking in cells H1 to H4. And we're seeing how many times it, H5 shows up. So see here, H5, Denver. How many times does Denver show up here? Denver shows up zero times, so we want to put that in there. But in H6, here's Dallas. See, Dallas showed up here already once. So since it showed up, we're going to leave it blank. We don't want it to show up in our list of unique teams. So I'm going to copy this down. I'll just copy down about 100 rows or so. And now all we need to do is put a number next to them. If only if there's, uh, if it's not blank. So what we're going to do, we're going to do an if statement again. If this cell is blank. If this is blank, then we just want to include the number that was there last time. If it's not blank, that means there's a team there. Then we want to include the number that was there before it plus one. So let me show you what that does. So now when we copy this down, see every time there's a unique team, there's a team in here, this number increases by one. But here this is blank, so this number stays four. So now we have our listing, and the first time a number appears is where there's a team. 
So now I'll copy this down about that 100 rows or so. See, 12 was the last one. So that means there were 12, there's 12 teams playing. Now what we can do over here, here's the, the teams. So we're going to start off with a 1, 2, so on. I'm going to copy this down for, say, 30 teams. And now all we got to do is a V lookup to V lookup this one. So we're looking up number one over here, pulling in the second column, which is this, and then we want false for an exact match. So now see number one is Dallas. We copy this down. It's going to give us our unique teams. Although it is showing NA, we want to get rid of those errors. So we can simply put if error in front of it, parentheses, comma, quote, quote. So now when we copy this down all the way down to 30, those would be blanks. So see what this did. We got our unique teams here. We put a number next to them that keeps changing every time there's a, there's a new team. And now we're VLOOKUPing all of them over VLOOKUPing. I don't know if that's a word, but. So now here's our 12 unique teams. And if you look at here, see if we go to filter, we check here, see there's 12 teams that are um, that have games here. And we've got them right here. So now all we got to do, if we're going to be using this spreadsheet, we don't need, we don't care about this. Let's hide, hide all these or make the columns super small. There, now this change this is a list of teams and say we got a new team here uh, I'm not sure who's that on here say New York Knicks say we put we add, copied in a new spreadsheet I see now look there's 13 teams because the New York Knicks are now in here and this automatically updates to show all the teams and then you can do whatever you want with it I mean you can pull another data based on this or whatever but I just wanted to show you how to use some formulas to set it up. So all you have to do is copy and paste in your salaries and you'll get, you can get information to automatically populate here. So that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something. If you want to see more videos like this, um, I'd subscribe to the channel, check out my other videos and also check out my uh, video course at uh, spreadsheetschooldfs.com or uh, my spreadsheet tools, uh, my optimizers at optimizelineups.com. So if you got any questions, let me know, and uh, have a great day. Thanks.